Good evening and thanks for joining us. A drug use epidemic is widespread across Indiana and the Wabash Valley. Most of the methamphetamine use involves adults, but unfortunately it's a growing trend among teenagers as well. The Indiana Youth Institute partnered with Indiana State Police today to talk to local youth workers. In tonight's top story, News 10's Patsy Kelly has more on how this can impact a young person's life. Difficult to look at, isn't it? but it's an all too real photo. According to an Indiana Prevention Resource Center study, nearly 2% of high school seniors in western Indiana report trying methamphetamine. That doesn't sound like a large number, but study shows most teens try because of their parents. And the average age they start, 13. Trooper Shiloh Ralston of the Indiana State Police Meth Suppression Team explained this to Wabash Valley youth workers Thursday. The majority of all other drugs across the board are abused by men and at almost a 70 to 30 percent ratio. But when it comes to methamphetamine, it's nearly half and half. The men are 50.7, the women are 49.3 percent. These local youth workers have a lot on their hands, keeping their eyes glued for signs. And unfortunately, sometimes teens don't realize the horrible effects. Meth is a central nervous system stimulant. It gets into your system and releases dopamine. If uh, you take a cup full of dopamine, it takes about seven years to fill that cup up uh, to get all the dopamine your body will, will manufacture. But with the first hit of methamphetamine, that entire amount of dopamine is dumped into the system at one time. Compare that to other levels of dopamine released into the body. Morphine releases 200 units, cocaine 340, methamphetamine 1050. That high has quite a few physical effects on the body. You could have nasal damage and bleeding, especially if they snort methamphetamine. They're, they have dry, itchy skin, acne, and sores. A lot of times it's not just the meth that's causing that, but the, their poor hygiene. Whenever people use methamphetamine, a lot of times you'll hear them say they don't want to shower because when you shower, you sweat, and when you sweat, you're sweating out the meth. Meth is a highly addictive, physically damaging drug and teens are using right in our community, not understanding these dangerous and life-altering problems. In Vigo County with photojournalist Tony Cassasia, Patsy Kelly, News 10. But there are people who can help. For more on how to explain the dangers to young people, head to our website.